What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and just stumbling across this, I'm so happy you stopped by. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know that you're new. I'm also doing Vlogmas, so feel free to go binge watch all those videos if you haven't seen them. We literally vlogged every single day in December, and so there's so much content to watch on my channel. And Hunter and I, my husband, are also going to Hawaii in a couple of days. So we'll have Hawaii vlogs coming soon and all that good stuff. Uh, anyways, today I wanted to share what I got for Christmas. I love watching these videos, and I did this last year and I love sharing and seeing what everyone else got too. So I'm gonna take you guys through some of my bigger ticketed like items um, that I think you would find cool. I'm kind of leaving out little like stocking stuffers and knickknacks and stuff like that. So these are just kind of some of the bigger pieces, but I hope you enjoy. I'll have everything linked down below and let's hop in. First off, I know I'm gonna get questions about this sweater. It's from H&M, it's literally 15 bucks. I will link it down below along with all of the other presents that that I received and so you guys can find the links down there okay first up is probably the most exciting gift I've ever 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 received okay apologies the PS man just dropped off a very exciting package um, anyways as I was saying very 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 exciting I have been wanting these sneakers for so long and hunter Santa Santa Hunter got them for me. So these are the Balenciaga Triple S sneakers. If you know, you know. If you don't know, they are really, really amazing sneakers right now. And um, I've had my eye on them for a really long time and I'm surprised I haven't pulled the trigger sooner, but Hunter had to do it for me and finally get them for me for Christmas. As you guys saw in Vlogmas, I went to try these on with Hunter at the Neiman Marcus in Dallas and I wasn't sure if they had sold out. He was kind of like playing tricks on me and I just wasn't really sure um, what was gonna happen. I didn't know if I was for sure about the color or what. So I was so excited to open them on Christmas morning. These are a brand new color, which I thought was really cool because I had my eye on the white ones for a while, but everyone has them and I kind of just wanted to come up, like get a different color or I don't know, do something a little bit different. So they just came out with this kind of gray kind of like a mocha beige color with like some navy and black. It's very neutral, perfect color scheme, but these are definitely a very high-end sneaker and they were one of like my very few presents, so I'm not saying they're affordable by any means, but I've been buying like dupes of them for a year and I honestly just finally wanted to get the real ones. So I'm so excited about these. I've already, I literally put them on Christmas morning. I haven't taken them off. I wear them everywhere and I'm in love with them. You'll be seeing them styled a ton on my Instagram over the next few months and this year so you guys can follow along there to see how I style them and they're just everything and more they're literally perfect they're my favorite present ever so I got a size 37 I'm a normal like size 7 so if that helps you kind of gauge for sizing um, if you're interested they I don't know when we went to try them on they were already almost sold out like and they had only received them that morning so if you have had your eye on these sneakers I'll try to link some in stock below but they go really fast so I would highly recommend buying them as soon as possible and I also have one more pair of shoes that I actually got from a coworker. Um, these are, this is collective from like friends, family, coworkers, everything. And they're really cute, so I thought I'd share them. These are from the brand Schutz. And they're really simple, kind of black heel with a clear strap. They have this really fun like snakeskin pattern on the back, gives a little bit of texture, and then a little wrap tie that goes around your ankle. So actually surprisingly very comfortable. I mean, I really like this brand. They make really, really comfortable, cute shoes that look like designer shoes, but really pretty, really comfy, good classic heel. I really like them. They kind of like a mix of the clear with the black, a little bit of, you know, wrap i just think they're really cute so i wanted to share them i've already worn them a ton out they'd be a really good new year's eve heel or just like a nice heel to have in your wardrobe okay staying within fashion i have a few items so these jeans actually kind of bought for myself for christmas um they were my first pair of girlfriend denim from revolve but i've been loving them so i wanted to include them in here and these are i forget what style i think these are like the oh they're the devon style and they're a really, really cute light wash. Like I love 
the, the wash it's perfect and the fit is so cute and they're just really nice quality pair of jeans now I got a size 26 I'm definitely a 25 I normally am a 26 but I feel like these aren't like a stretchy denim so they do stretch out so they're perfect when they get out of the wash but then they stretch out and they're a little bit baggy so I would say if anything size down um, so I wish I'd gotten a smaller size but I've been wearing them non-stop and they're just really cute there's no rips in them or anything um, and I definitely will be buying more stuff from girlfriend denim on revolve but really good solid pair of jeans that um, are good investment I think and really good quality. They have such cute styles, cute washes, everything. Another couple of things that Hunter kind of pre-purchased for me for Christmas, a few fashion items. The first being this jacket from Zara. I love this. I actually was in the store and like picked it out but still same thing and it's so cute. It's black almost like a black navy tweed style and I really like tweed but sometimes it can get like a little bit preppy and I feel like this one wasn't super preppy it's a little bit more edgy I guess I don't know how to describe it but it's just so cute and it looks really cute with like hoodies layered underneath it's not cropped it's just like a normal length little button-up jacket but the same kind of um, style as like a denim jacket with like the buttons and everything it's just so cute and such a good I just love like little jackets and little coats um, right now for winter and everything and this one's really cute. It's just like a little detail that's still neutral. You can wear it a lot. Fashionable with the tweed. It's just a really cute jacket and it's like around $100. All right, last fashion item are a few hoodies and the first one is this really cute oversized hoodie it's huge from H&M. It has like a little font on it. It says like satisfied which is kind of like a random saying but I just liked the actual font on it I think it's really cute and it's in a really really big size so I can wear it like as a hoodie dress and it's beige so that's the perfect color obviously I love it two plain hoodies that I was really wanting so the first is just this solid black hoodie from H&M I think he got it from the men's section yeah it's extra small from the men's because I wanted like true solid black and I like them a little bit longer and also he got me just plain white like a true true white so I've really been liking to layer hoodies underneath blazers if you guys watch vlogmas you've probably seen me doing that a lot like for coffee runs and just like everyday easy casual wear with like joggers and sweats just do like a hoodie sweats and a blazer or a coat and it looks really cute and pulled together so I really wanted like a few hoodies so that is perfect I got all the neutrals that I needed my mother-in-law got me this amazing perfume that I've been wanting so badly from um, I think they only sell it at Neiman Marcus like exclusively this is the brand I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it correctly so I'm not even gonna try it's Maison Francis something from Paris but this fragrance is so beautiful. It smells of uh, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Kirk Dijon. Okay. Read it, right? Kirk Dijon. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna butcher it, so I'm not gonna say it. But the bottle looks like this. And if you go into uh Neiman Marcus, you'll have to smell it. It they have like really, really amazing fragrances, but this one is the Baccarat Rouge 540 and it's this really like i can't describe it kind of like elevated sweet scent and it has some of the notes that i really like in a lot of other perfume perfumes kind of like the toca colette i also really like the tom ford uh vermont or venetian bergamot fragrance and they all kind of have similar notes if you if i like look them all up online and cross check like they all have similar notes so i can figure out like which ones i like but this one oh smells so good but it's a very very like nice gift and I really been wanting this fragrance forever so I'm really really excited to get this it's like such a beautiful like fun surprise and yeah it's just very different like I haven't really seen a lot of people wear it and it just smells so good and so like unique I never smell anything like it so next time you're in Anima Marcus you'll need to stop by the counter and smell this fragrance Hunter also really likes their colognes they have really good colognes also, a really special gift from my mother-in-law was this Jo Malone candle. She loves gifting us Jo Malone candles, which I am totally fine with. Not complaining, ever. Um, and you guys know I have the really big ones around my house. She usually gets those for us for Christmas. We weren't quite done 
burning the big ones she got like a little medium size which is so nice i love having like a variety of different ones but this is the pomegranate noir it smells incredible these are the best candles ever they're very luxurious and really nice but they're just amazing like you can't go wrong they're the best like home gift and just like if you're into your house and you love candles like this is such a good treat and so i was so excited about this like i could never have enough jo malone candles so i'm obsessed with this oh also another huge gift gosh how could i be overlooking this another one from hunter now this is such an adult gift i feel like but i feel like you'll understand and if you are in college you'll you know just listen to me now he got us new pots and pans. So these are the all clad, all clad pots and pans with a copper core, right Hunter? Yeah, it's all clad, all clad stainless steel with a copper core. All clad stainless steel with a copper core. Now we have had the same pots and pans since college and they are so crummy like they're literally the worst pots and pans and i remember like my best friend she's a little bit older than me and she told me when i graduated college like and i was getting married get good pots and pans like that is one thing i always regret like make sure you ask for it when you get married and everything and i didn't and so i just kept the pots and pans and now i had to like ask for nice ones because ours are so gross so hunter got us a whole set of these gorgeous pots and pans they're really really nice but we do so much cooking as you guys know if you watch our vlogs and um well we haven't really in december but we normally cook a lot and it's just if you like to cook or you're in the kitchen a lot that's like a really good treat like anything that makes your life easier cooking is a plus so if you're in college and you're like getting your own apartment and you're asking or you're getting like gifts for graduation like highly recommend these pans they're really good i promise i'm telling you now just invest in them and you will not be sorry don't don't skimp out on crummy pots and pans it's just not worth it it won't make cooking very fun but if you have like nice cooking wear it's everything so so excited about that i'll link the um the pans down below that we have but i'm so excited to be doing more cooking in 2019 and everything now that things have slowed down a little bit um okay a few more things the next is this little mini insta x camera it's like a polaroid camera and i been wanting one of these for so long and my mother-in-law actually got this and i was like so surprised that she knew that like I well she got them for me and all of my sister-in-laws but I was really really excited to open this and it's just so cute Hunter and I took a ton of Polaroids on Christmas morning and they're really fun just to like post to Instagram or like have I kind of want to create like a wall of them or a little poster board like I just love Polaroids so I've been really wanting to get into that and so I was really happy to open this and the pink is really cute so I've already been taking a ton of photos and we'll definitely take this like to Hawaii and on different trips and stuff. Yeah, if you're watching, we Hunter and I are actually going to Hawaii for New Year's. We live in literally like a day. So definitely follow along for Hawaii vlogs. Lots of content coming. Um, and then also got this little external power bank from Hunter. This is a, a Mophie, but it's the XL version. So it holds like way more battery than your normal power bank, I guess. And it's really powerful. So can never have enough of these. I have, I think three now. So it's nice to have backups all the time. I always am running out of battery because I do so much on my phone. So yeah, definitely a really good one. And then last but not least, I thought this was really special. I don't think I can like link this online because it's custom, but I thought it was a really good idea for um, presents for like next year or just to show people. And my mother-in-law also got this for me, but this is a really beautiful stationary box. Look how gorgeous, oh, God. how pretty. And inside you have like all of your different stationery. She got it customized with my last name it says havens little cards pencils envelopes and they have this little pattern on them and it's just nice to have like all the stationery in one area because i know like i have some stationery now but i just literally like fling it in the back of my closet it's like in different piles and it's kind of all over the place so this is really cool and just like such a special treat i think she got it at like a stationery store locally but i thought this is a good gift idea too like if you're looking 
for gift ideas or just keep it in mind for like next season or for a birthday or something. I feel like it's not something you would buy for yourself, but it's really nice to have on hand for like thank you notes and just to always have laying around because you always need to write little like thank yous and cards and stuff to people. So love this so much. Okay, you guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the main gifts. I got lots of little like knickknacks and gift cards and stuff, but I didn't include those in today's video. But I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. I love you and thank you for watching.